Hey everybody, Marinus here and welcome to my channel Darksiders Comics and today we're re -re reviewing Silver Sable and the Wild Pack number 19 uh, starring Venom. Uh, this is the Siege of Darkness crossover, this is a storyline uh, of Zaratos and Lilith. Zaratos is an old enemy, enemy of, <coughs> sorry, enemy of Ghost Rider, Lilith also. They join forces and basically unleash hell on Earth. And that's just what this crossover is about. Like every crossover in Marvel, um, it bleeds into other books like, uh, you know, other Marvel books like Spider-Man and in this case, Silver Sable. So we start here. Uh, we see Silver Sable and the Wild Pack defeated uh, Eddie Brock, uh, who's also known as Venom. Why? There's a bounty on, uh, on Venom's head. And they have to take him in. But the supernatural forces that is uh, roaming the city also causes major uh, disruption into, into the city. This, uh, it's very hot at this point. And they are getting attacked by, uh, by demons. And one of the wild packs makes also jokes. Because there are some jokes in here. Although their life is in constantly danger. So yeah, the jokes are a little bit out of place. But this one, he said... Fire, fire is good. It makes me happy. And I said, yeah, you know, you look like someone I flushed once, but without the stupid grin. <laughs> it made me chuckle, but it um, it didn't do anything for me. The art is pretty good, though. I have to mention the art before, and I forgot that, by the way. The art is by Stephen Butler, who's also doing the, the cover, and I like the cover very much. Uh, I like Silver Sable. I like this version of Venom. I'm not a big fan of the new iteration of Venom, how it is now. I'm just more like a classic 19s guy, so I like the old stuff better. But hey, that's me. So the writer is Gregory Wright, and the inker is Pam Eklund. Tom DeFolk is the chief and editor, or chief. That's an old name. I recognize him a lot in the 90s. So, so this demon here swoops in and, uh, you know, wants to uh, eat Sulfur Sable, and uh, he said, I got a taste for the cerebral cortexes of human females. And then, out of nowhere, uh, Eddie Brock wakes up, Venom, and uh, snaps this demon's neck, basically saving Silver Sable. Silver, Silver Sable. <laughs> I want to say Silver Surfle. Sil Jesus Christ, Silver Surfer. <laughs> Damn SS. Silver Sable. So, um, so what's the gist here? Um, Venom helps Silver Sable and her, and her team because uh, he can get her out of the city alive, but he wants something in return. And basically what he wants in return is that they get off his case permanently. You know, they drop the, um, dropping the bounty. So she thinks about it and eventually agrees. So skipping a few pages here. For the copyright gods and then we see here the heat is continuing and it affects the people uh, of their team and also Silver Sable herself as well and this person here I don't know who that is because I don't know the team uh, suggests that they uh, move to the Golden Gate, Golden Gate Bridge on top of it so they can summon in uh, an aircraft to you know basically save them and get the hell out of there and that's exactly what they do. So they're getting attacked by demons again. Venom saved them. And we see here Sandman, you know, carrying everybody to the top while the demons are trying to, you know, demolish the Golden Gate Bridge from the downside while Venom is trying to, uh, you know, save them all or prevent them from doing that. So the here we see that, well, the team gets out alive. Silver Saver is still on top and... She's getting shook off or falling off the bridge. Venom saves her. Makes some stupid jokes about, you know, women falling off a bridge. And then uh, she said, hey, do we have an agreement? And she said, yes, I will leave you be permanently. And then, you know, they're going off. And basically that's the story. That's it. We see some, some shenanigans here between uh, Finn and, you know, Sandman. And then... It's the end of the story. It's a very short story, and we have a, an even shorter story of this um, hero, monster, anti-hero, I don't know, 
Uh, the artist is Michael Bear, and the letter is Steve Aditra and Gregory Wise, the writer, and Ed Lazzalari is the colorist. Who's the colorist of this one? Let me double check. Mm, Jorosas. Okay, well, the colors are nice, not bad. But basically, it's a throwaway story about um, a tiger, man tiger. He's hunting some terrorists uh, for Silver Sable because Silver Sable saved him. He was an archaeologist, archaeologist, is that how you say it? Archaeologist, yes. Uh, he's got shot by some people and they experimented on him, becoming uh, a mix between a tiger and a man. So we see him here killing a person that is attacking him, but he uh, he's, he's scared that he is more monster and then human he has hunger and he wants to eat the other person alive but he said no i got control of these primal urges i'm an intruder of permanent status now no matter what else i am so a short story about a character that i haven't seen before and haven't seen again since then so basically a useless story i think i don't think this is a very good comic um i like the art though i really like uh What's his name again? Steve Butler's art. But other way than that, it's a very short story about, you know, going to A, point A, to point B. Venom is it, is in here. Silver Sable is, uh, who is, should be the star of the show, is basically useless here. The only thing she does is, you know, shout commands and, and, and uh, to her team and to Venom. But she doesn't do anything at all except getting saved by Venom, as we see here on the cover. That's it. Um, I do not recommend, um, but if you want to, you know, follow all the Seek of Darkness crossovers, then, well, you have to buy a lot of books. Uh, personally, I don't have all of the books, nor do I want to. I only follow the, the main ones uh, from Ghost Rider because I'm a big Ghost Rider fan. Um, this one was, you know, only uh, 125 It's not expensive, but hey, there you go. Uh, this is my take on Silver Sable and the Wild Pack number 19. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you want. And I see you next time.